Obesity. Weight loss discussion. When a person's body mass index, BMI, is 30 or higher, they are considered to be obese. It is brought on by an imbalance between the amount of energy consumed and the amount of energy expended, which often results from a confluence of genetic, environmental, and lifestyle variables. Obesity has been linked to a number of major health issues, such as type 2 diabetes, heart disease, and several cancers. Given that an estimated 650 million persons globally are considered obese, it is a global public health issue. Aside from medication and weight loss surgery, treatment options include dietary and activity modifications as well as behavioral adjustments. Treatments. Lifestyle changes such as diet and exercise. Medications such as Orlistat, Liraglutide, Phentermine, Topiramate, Lorcaserin, and Bupropion Naltrexone. Bariatric surgery such as RU and Y gastric bypass, sleeve gastrectomy, adjustable gastric banding, and biliopancreatic diversion with duodenal switch. Ozempic, semaglutide, is a medication that belongs to a class of drugs called GLP-1 receptor agonists. It is approved by the FDA for the treatment of type 2 diabetes and as an adjunct to diet and exercise to improve glycemic control in adults with obesity. BMI is greater than or equal to 27 kg per square meter, with or without type 2 diabetes. Ozempic works by increasing the amount of insulin released by the pancreas in response to high blood sugar levels and by decreasing the amount of glucose produced by the liver. It also suppresses appetite, which can lead to weight loss. Ozempic is usually given as a once-weekly subcutaneous injection, and it should be used in combination with diet and exercise to achieve optimal results. Risks Weight loss medications can have potential risks and side effects, just like any other medication. Some common side effects of weight loss medications include gastrointestinal issues such as nausea, diarrhea, and constipation, headaches, insomnia, dizziness, dry mouth, some weight loss medications may also have more serious potential risks or side effects. For example, certain medications that work by inhibiting the absorption of fat from the diet can cause malabsorption of fat-soluble vitamins, which can lead to deficiencies in vitamins A, D, E, and K. It is important to note that weight loss medications are not intended for long-term use, and they should be used under close medical supervision. Patients should be regularly monitored for their efficacy, safety, and any potential side effects. In conclusion, weight loss medications may be a successful treatment choice for certain patients, but they should only be taken under the strict supervision of a healthcare provider, taking into account the risks and side effects that may be involved as well as the patient's general health. To sum up, weight loss drugs can be a successful treatment choice for some patients, but they should be used carefully under the supervision of a healthcare provider taking into account the dangers and side effects that may be present as well as the patient's general health.